Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a favorites video. It's been long overdue since I did a favorites. You guys know I don't have time to film and sit every month to do a favorites video. And FYI, if my voice is sounding a little stuffy, I am stuffed up and I have a cold. So please excuse that. But since I have a few free days, I just want to sit down and film with you guys because I haven't did so in a little bit over a month. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Majority of my items are makeup related and I do have a few fashion items. So if you want to see, then go ahead and stick around. The first items that I'm going to start off with are of course the makeup brushes that I've been loving to death. And one of these are actually is actually a sponge. And this one is the sponge that I got from Marshalls. And it has like a flat little um, side here and then the rest is rounded. And I actually like to use this one here to apply my under eye concealer and or under eye powder. I do use this sponge damp. Um, I suggest using any beauty sponge damp so that way it won't soak up most of your product. And I absolutely love this and this was like, um, it was 10 bucks but it came with another sponge. But you can also purchase these from different sites like eBay and BornPrettyStore.com and IK House for like 3 bucks. So I definitely suggest um, getting one of these because it's amazing. And then I have Sigma brushes and Sigma seems to be the brushes that I've been using lately. Mainly because I recently came back from my trip to Bahamas. I went on a cruise and the brushes that I took was my Sigma brushes. And the main brushes that I've been loving and using and it's in my daily routine is this flat top kabuki brush here. And this is the F80 brush. I did use them today. I washed them. They're still wet. And this one it just has a flat surface and is great for foundation, liquid, and powder. I use them for both depending on how, how I'm feeling for that day. But I absolutely love this brush. Next, I have an eyeshadow brush that I cannot do any eyeshadow look without now. And this is another Sigma brush. And this is the E60 Large Shader Brush. And this brush is everything. It gets the job done so quickly and evenly and I absolutely love it. And then we have two of the um, precision brushes. This one is the P84 angled precision brush and I like to use this as well for my under eye concealer because I feel like sometimes I just don't want to use the sponge. So I use this brush and it gets it done amazingly. And since it has that angle, it's great for getting into the crease between the nose and the eye. So I absolutely love this one. And then the next one is the P86, which is the tapered brush. So it's like a pointed brush. And I like to use this to contour my nose. And it's amazing for that. So these brushes are in heavy rotation. And I use them every single time I do my makeup. And I love these brushes. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the lip products because it's a lot of lip products you guys and um, I've just been a lip junkie. I'm normally not a lip junkie but Lord it's a lot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start off with this Too Faced Melted um, Liquid Lipstick and this one is the only one that I got because this one is like the only one that I wanted. Cause I didn't want any of the light colors. I kind of wanted a dark color, and this one is in Melted Berry, and I have a swatch right here on my hand. It kind of resembles the lipstick that I have on now, which is a new one that I just got in the mail the other day. It is um, by Mac, and it's called Fashion Revival. It's this one is just about one shade lighter. So if you kind of manipulate it with like a a plum lip liner, you probably could get it to look like this. If you already have this color, there's no need to get this one. But I absolutely love this um, melted lip, lip lipstick. And um, the color I absolutely love. I feel like it's appropriate for the fall and the winter. And I really did too care for the applicator, like the little spongy thingy. But if you don't like it, you can always squeeze it out and use a lip brush, which was 9 times out of 10 what I do. Um, next 
is a staple. I mean, I will forever get this. I hope they do not discontinue this ever in life. I will cry, literally. Um, is this Sephora Liquid Lip Stain? And this one is in um, Always Red, I believe that's the name of it. Mm. Yeah, I think it's Always Red. I wore this like twice in a week. And I got so many questions and compliments on this lip cream. Um, it is everything. I'm going to make do a swatch for you guys. It has like a li um, lip gloss applicator. And it's okay. But well, if you want to be more precise, I say use a, um, a lip pencil or I mean like a lip brush. But that's the swatch right there. It dries matte. I like this way better than Ruby Woo and Riri Woo. It's just everything. I'm telling you guys. And I gave so many people um, the name to this lip stain so they could go out and get it because it's everything. And I definitely think it's worth like, I think it's like 13 bucks. It's definitely worth 13 bucks. Probably more, but I'm, I hope they never take the price up because this is everything. Now I have, um, I'll stick with the lipsticks for now. I have three MAC lipsticks that has been in heavy rotation and um, I'm going to do a um, fall and winter lipstick video and I'm going to do on the lip swatches for you guys so you can see how they look with my skin tone but these three um, has been in heavy rotation these are like the three um, newest shades that I had added to my collection um, and one of them is called Hearts of Flame and it's a matte finish and it's like a brick red color. I'm going to swatch it right here. That's it right there. It's a really nice brick red tone color. I absolutely love it. Um, everything. Huh, wear it to death. The next one is Lingering Kiss. And I got so many compliments on this lipstick. I went to H&M and the girl's like, oh my God. Before I even started checking out, she was like, oh my God, what lipstick is that? I have to get it. And um, this one is a matte finish as well. And once again, it's Lingering Kiss. And this one is um, like a reddish purple shade. Um, you can see that when you, if you have it, you can see that red undertone in it. But I absolutely love this. If you have cyber and you love cyber, you will love this. Because it's kind of like a shade down and it's matte as well. Because cyber, I believe, is a satin finish. So if you love cyber, you will love Lingering Kiss. And then the last um, MAC lipstick is called Glam. And this one is a matte finish as well. And it's a red color. I've been loving red lipsticks. Um, I don't know why, but this one is Glam, and I absolutely love it. It's kind of like a mixture between, um, I would say Ruby Rue and, um, what's the other one? Russian Red. I think it's like a mixture. In my opinion, it's not too much of a blue undertone, and it's not too much of a yellow undertone. It's like in between. And that one is Glam. So, those are the lipsticks and for mac and then this one here is by OCC lip tar um this is, i mean by OCC and it's a lip tar and i have a love hate relationship with these lip tars but a little bit goes a long way you can mix and make your own colors and this one here is a dark um red tone and it's called vintage and i'm not going to swatch this because it'll be a mess it's just it'll be a mess but this one I would definitely recommend getting if you want um, an OCC lip tar and you want a dark red color. I would definitely suggest Vintage. So that's that. And then I have some lip glosses here. Now normally I don't do lip glosses but I just fell back in love with these because honestly I'm not going to lie I forgot that I had them. Um, I got so much makeup. I've been doing revamping my closet, um, getting rid of old clothes and makeup, giving it to my sister. And I came across a lot of makeup that was still unopened, unused. Um, these I actually used, but then I forgot about them. I forgot that I had them. But I came across a lot of makeup, and some of them still in the package, and it was just ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but these lip glosses here 
which was um, a holiday um, a collection by Lorac that my sister husband actually got me as well with the um, OCC lip tar set. He got me both of those for Christmas. And I actually just picked up the new set. Um, I think, I believe I posted the picture on Instagram if, you know, if you if you follow me on Instagram. And I absolutely love um, these lip glosses, but the newer ones do not have any shimmer in it. These have shimmer in it, but it's only two out of all, um, what's this, one, two, three, four, five, six of these that I've been wearing. But I want to do a look with this candy apple, I believe this, yes, candy apple shade, which is a really nice red shade with glitters in it. I want to do like a holiday look with this. So um, let me know if you guys want to see a, a tutorial with this. But the two that I've been loving is this kind of like a mauve shade here and then this light peachy nude shade here. This one, the peachy nude one is called Butterscotch and then the mauve shade is called Cotton Candy. It's another one that's in between that's like a really, really baby pink, but I rarely go for that one. But these two are the ones that I like to go for when I'm wearing a nude lipstick or when I just don't want to wear a lipstick. I just want to wear a lip gloss and it gives me a nice sheen. And these, you actually can't really see the glitters as much as you can see them in the tube when you put them on your lip. So that's a bonus too and they smell amazing. They smell really good. Smell like candy. Next, we're going to go into, huh, I, I say eye products, okay? Well, no, I'm going to go, I'm going to use, uh, I don't know. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to share with you guys this here, which is a, is mandatory now that fall and winter is, uh, Chicago weather, dry, cracked lips, you don't want that. So, this Victoria's Secret lip scrub and balm is the balm. And, as you can see, I put a dent in it. This one I had a while. I would say a little bit goes a long way. And I believe it's like $16, but you do get your money's worth. And I absolutely love it. And then I use the lip balm as well. It does, This lip balm don't have a scent to it. Well, I can't smell it because my, I'm stopped up. But the scrub has like a sweet and sour smell. Kind of like sour patches. And the lip balm feels like a peppermint type of lip balm on your lip it gives a tingle sensation um it's very moisturizing as well so i would definitely recommend um this mandatory now that's in my routine is mandatory now on to the eye stuff lord um glitters i have a I have glitters on my list today but on a, um normally when i want something and I want to feel like a little extra special I would put the glitter I would either use it as a liquid liner and I'm going to show you how to do that in the tip video um, when I film it but I usually use like the neutral tone glitters and these are the little stacks of glitters that I got from Hobby Lobby a while ago that Time the Infamous put everybody on because she's the only one I've seen that was using these glitters and I actually used this one today, which is um, like a really nice silvery purple color. But I typically use these neutral colors here, and I absolutely love them. I suggest, I'm, I'm not sure if they actually sell these anymore. But you can get any glitter and buy the little containers and put them in yourself. Um, Michaels, try Michaels. Um, but I absolutely love glitter, and I'm going to be doing a few holiday looks with glitter, definitely, because I've just been loving it. Um, pigments. This is one of the cases for my MAC pigments. I actually just started another one because I have to finish transferring them over. But this one I typically go for because it has most of my neutral MAC eyeshadows in it that I like to grab for. And I get most of my, well majority of my pigment samples came from the bodyneeds2.com. And I've been buying from them for over three years now so absolutely love them and one of my favorite shades is from um my pigments is but i believe it's called rose gold this one this is the one i use the most yeah it's called rose and it's a really nice gorgeous rose color and this is how it looks right here it's a really nice gorgeous rose color 
absolutely love that color and then the other one is on top of it and it's called pink bronze and it's like a golden color with pink kind of undertones when you use it it's, it's amazing but definitely go I'm not sure if they have all of these that I have um, but they do have a nice wide selection of MAC pigment samples and a little bit goes a long way because you do get a nice size amount of pigment when you get it so those have been a must have and I've been using like crazy and then as well as my MAC warm palette that I got this is man this is an everyday mandatory palette that I grab um, I mainly like to use saddle and these two shades right here I know I'm not sure of the names these two shades here I kind of mix them and use it as a brow bone highlight and then of course these two shades here I use for my crease and then to um, define my crease as well but I absolutely love this palette um, shout out to my boyfriend for getting it as one of my graduation gifts because this is an awesome palette and then of course my coastal scent palette I did buy some more um, of these and I might do a haul I'm not sure um, 99 cent you can't beat that and this is also in my daily routine and the main one that I use is these two right here this one is Oktoberfest which I actually like to look a lot better than Mac Saddle and then this one here which I want to take out I like to as you can see it has a dent in it I use this at for my brows so yeah um, mandatory next I have a few lashes you guys know about these broad Broadway lashes I have used these lashes three times already and I'm still using them this one is 747s which I use on a daily basis when I want to wear them to work and when I have time to put them on to wear the work and then this one is the wispies which are amazing so I love these two I just recently purchased some more lashes so I'm going to come back and do a huge lash haul because I've been obsessed with lashes now I have a few more products and I'll be done face 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 um this foundation here, I picked this up on a whim when I went to Dollar Tree. Um, it's the L'Oreal Hip Flawless Liquid Foundation. And this was in the yellow undertone. They also had one for red undertones. And it has SPF of 15. Now for a dollar, you know I, I was going to get it and try it. And this one is in the color Cappuccino um, 812. You get one fluid ounce. And let me tell you guys, this this foundation is everything I ended up getting two and I'm glad I did because I have a backup now this one is still kind of full I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of this foundation goes a long way because to me this foundation is medium to full coverage and honestly I would say full coverage because it have your skin looking flawless like a doll not like the cakey look but like a doll like I absolutely love this and I did uh, find some on eBay if you guys are interested I might see if I can find the link again and put it down in the description box but this foundation is everything and I'm going to show you the bottle up close it is everything so I absolutely love this I have it on today I use it every day it's amazing um, then I have my Amon this is the second to none cream to powder foundation and my shade is Clay 3. As you can see, it's, it's almost gone. I didn't hit pan on this baby. I got another one. Um, so I absolutely love it. This is the type of foundation that I feel is fall and winter appropriate. Because it is a thick consistency. It is full coverage. And I absolutely love that about it. Um, so fall and winter, you can get away with wearing this. It won't melt off your face. Um... It'll, it'll be just right so I absolutely love this foundation and as well as my MAC Mirror Light Skin Finish I still have the old one I'm almost done with it you see I didn't hit pan on this sucker and um I'm gonna go ahead and get another one so that way I have it when this one is gone but this one is in dark and 
I like that this one because in the summertime it actually matched my skin tone and it was flawless. But now that I'm getting pale as ever, um, it is a tad bit too dark but I still get away with it. But I'm going to go back down to the medium um, deep I believe that's the one I had. So I absolutely love it. And I forgot to mention this Fabi liner by Jordana. This is everything and this is a swatch of it right here. It's a really really black pointed liquid eyeliner pen and it's everything I absolutely love this little pen at first I had a love-hate relationship with it but it is so easy and quick for me to do it now I just love it um and one more item for the face this is my Victoria's Secret radiant face trio um, highlighter powder and it's in white hot and this was one of the items that I found in my closet and I just forgot about it. I never used it one, not once and um, it's amazing. I have it on today. I'm not sure if you can see that but I have it on today and it looks like that and I want to do a swatch of this because like I'm telling y'all it looks like this on the hand. As you can see that glow, like, whoo! I want to put it right here on top. Kind of blend it out and look at that. You see that sheen right there? Everything. Nice, glowy, the bomb. So that's that and then, oh, I have one more item. Oh, Lord. And this is the NYX um, HD Grinding Blush. And I fell back in love. I have like three or four of these blushes. I fell back in love with this because I took this one to Bahamas with me. And it's called Sangria in Madrid. And this one is a really nice. I have it on today. It's a really nice pinky tone blush. I absolutely love this color. It's great for the fall in my opinion because it's not like a bright baby pink. It's kind of like a pinkish purple color. And that's the swatch of it right there if you can see that. It's like a really nice pinkish purple color and I absolutely love this blush now. Oh, everything. And oh I have this I forget everything. I have this um mascara. This is the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline and it's the lots of lashes mascara and the wand looks like this it's a really um nice little wand for the bottom lashes which is what I use it for it's okay I mean it's not like the end all be all of for the bottom lashes but it's okay it gets the job done and that is all for all of the makeup so I'm going to show you these three fashion items that I've been loving and then this long video will be over with so, shoes. I got these shoes on a whim months ago from Target and it was they were on sale for 17 bucks. Best 17 bucks I ever spent in my life. I got them in a size 8 and a half. And it's just these little wedge sneakers that I just got makeup on today. And they're really, really nice. I wear them with a lot of outfits when I want to have that little nice relaxed laid back look they really nice and comfortable so I wear those quite often and this one here um going through my closet and it still had the tags and the extra button along with a, a lot of other clothes that still had tags on it was this little half cropped little blazer jacket from forever 21 It's from the love um whatever love I don't know love 21 or whatever line and this it's like an olive and black really nice quality um crop little blazer has the buttons and everything and I absolutely love this I have another one in like a creamy peach tone color in black and this one is just everything I wore with my um my Sephora lip stain and oh lord I got tons of compliments when I wore this 
And I also had this one that was still in my closet with the tags on it that I've been wearing recently. And I do got makeup on it because I wore it yesterday, so I have to wash it. But it's this really nice um, vest, and it has like the little fake little sheep um, material, and it's really nice. It has pockets, and these are really real pockets. And this one I got from, it's by Material Girl. I got this one from um, Macy's a while ago, and I never wore it. And it has like the little high-low effect to it. I wore it zipped up, and then I wore it unzipped, so it's really, really nice. I have to clean it now since I wore it yesterday and the other day. Um, but this one is really, really nice. I love both of them. They were hidden in my closet, some nice hidden gems. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comment section if you like to see those holiday videos, um, makeup tutorials. Let me know what you guys have been liking, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.